friends, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today, I'm going to be doing a book review on Night of Miracles by Elizabeth Bird. So I read this on my Kindle, and um, I read it when I was at the gym. I like to take my Kindle to use on the treadmill, so I read that at, uh, at the gym. <laughs> For some reason today, I have been so tongue-tied. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so what I found out later was this book is part of a series. It's book number two. But um, what I read on Goodreads is that it can be a, definitely a standalone because they said that it didn't seem like a sequel to them. So that's cool. But I do plan on looking for the other books because I really liked it. I'm giving it four stars. So, I'm going to read off, your, off my phone what it's about. It says, Lucille Howard is getting on in years, but she stays busy. Thanks to the inspiration of her dearly departed friend, Arthur Truelove, she has begun to teach baking classes. Sharing the secrets to her delicious classic southern yellow cake, the perfect pinwheel cookies, and her other sweet essentials. So, this part of the book was, like, my favorite part because Lucille is, like, 80-something years old, and she teaches baking classes just to people in her town. Um, and they come, and, uh, of course, they pay for the baking classes, but I just thought it was so cute. I don't know why. I just thought it was cute. So, it says her classes have become so popular that she's hired Iris, a new resident of Mason, Missouri, as an assistant. Iris doesn't know how to bake, but she needs to keep her mind off a big decision she sorely regrets. So, yeah, um, Iris just moved there after after getting a divorce from her husband, who she'd been married to for, like, two or three decades. And, so, and she's kind of having second thoughts about it. So, she doesn't need money, not really. She's pretty well off. So, she decides she wants to get two part-time jobs just to keep herself busy. And uh, the two that she applies for is this one that she applies to, uh, to be Lucille, Lucille's assistant, but she knows nothing about baking. But she's really good as, as an assistant. Like, she makes her a web page, and she keeps the books, and she does the taxes and all that. So she's really good at that. But um, Lucille, <laughs> the, the interview is so funny. She gives um, uh, Iris a quiz, and she goes into another room while she takes the quiz. And it's like baking questions, you know. What's the difference between baking soda and baking powder? What would you do if your eggs aren't uh, room temperature? Yeah. So anyway, she, <laughs> when she goes to grade the, the quiz, she's got them all wrong. So she's like, why would I hire you for a bakery assistant? You don't know nothing about baking. But anyway... They become friends. She hires her to be her assistant. And she does teach her how to bake later on. So it's, it's really cute. Just really cute. So it says, when a new family moves in next door and tragedy strikes, Lucille begins to look out for Lincoln, their son. Lincoln's parents aren't the only ones in town facing hard choices and uncertain futures. In these difficult times, the residents of Mason come together and find the true power of community just when they need it most. Yeah. So it's just one of those feel-good books. Um, I really enjoy it. I'm giving it four stars. I think I'm in that kind of mood right now where I just want to read um, the feel-good books, you know. They give you all the feels, and this definitely does. I'm going to be looking for the other books at the library. Um, and since they said they're, you could read them as standalones, then I'm not going to worry that I didn't read it in order. It does have a little bit of a backstory of, um, I forget her name, I think her name's Maggie, and apparently the first book is all about Maggie, and, uh, Arthur Truelove, who in this book, uh, yeah, they don't make mention of, very, uh, minor mention of both of them in this book, but anyhow, I thought it was really good, four stars, um, in fact, uh, I decided that I would look up Elizabeth Berg and see what else she has. And she actually has a bunch of books. And they have a bunch of them at the library and the ebooks. So, I was totally excited about that. So, Night of, Amer Night of Miracles 
by Elizabeth Berg. And I hope you can see that on my Kindle. I think I need to get a new camera. This camera that I'm using, I got it on Amazon and yeah, it's not a very good camera. I wanted a camera that I could flip out the, um, what's it called, where I can see myself as I'm recording. And that one has this and it's, it's a Melcam is the brand name. Anyway, it's not very good. I haven't had it very long. Maybe six or eight months, maybe. <sighs> yeah, it's not very good. So anyway, I guess I'm going to have to get a new camera, which really sucks. But anyhow. Um, oh, by the way, I did get my hair cut. Um, I'm kind of wishing I hadn't. I don't know. The back. Here's the back. I don't know if you can see it. Here's the back. Um... I like the back. I want the back short because I'm really liking that. But I thought if I got it cut and get it got it thinned out, then it would bring some of that um, curl back from the perm because my hair is so heavy and it didn't really. No. But, I mean, it's still got a little bit of curl. It's got mousse in it right now. Um, but I, ha I think if there was no mousse in it, it wouldn't even look curly, which is kind of a bummer. But that's okay. Um... Yeah. Oh, also, I want to show you my shirt. So, this is a Life is Good shirt. And it says right there, the Life is Good company right there. Um, as you didn't know, I do, I'm a baker. I like to bake. And I think that's why I, um, li I lean towards books about bakery, about baking. And this book, uh, Night of Miracles, had that in it, so I really enjoyed it. Um, I do bake gluten-free. I haven't always, um, but in the last few years, my food allergies have really got icky. So, me and my husband are both gluten-free now. But, um, it's really easy to adapt any recipe to gluten-free. I use that Bob's Red Mill 1 to 1 uh, flour mix, and it it's cup to cup. I mean, it, and if you don't tell people... They're not going to know that it's gluten-free. Yep. <laughs> Which is totally cool because that's something I enjoy is baking. So I'm so glad that I found that. Because used to, if you wanted to bake gluten-free, then you would have to mix all these different flours and then hope it came out good. And then you'd waste ingredients and all that. But not now. Now there's so many different kinds that... Yeah, it's not a big deal. And you can find lots of things that are gluten-free already that you can buy now ready-made, which is kind of cool. Anyway, <laughs> now that I've got off topic of this book, <laughs> um, Night of Miracles by Elizabeth Berg that I highly recommend. I thought it was really good. So, um, yeah, I'll be looking for more of Elizabeth Berg books for sure. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.